So this is going to be about installing the heating element for this battery bank, but uh, before I go on, uh, the downvoting troll has returned, and whoever you are, I've actually studied the YouTube algorithms, and likes and dislikes count as engagement, which ultimately brings in more views, and the channel has actually recently been getting more popular. Um, quite fast, um, faster than I thought it would and it's bringing in a bit more money as well so whoever you are you're actually doing nothing to damage the channel so uh, you're a total fool so you might have to think of something else uh, to do to waste your time so I've got um, the battery set up anyway uh, this is actually one half of them and this is the other one half was a bit more unbalanced than the other, so I'm just mixing them up. Uh, but for the temperature controller, um, I'm probably going to use an Arduino or just one of those EB temperature controllers. Uh, it doesn't really matter which. Uh, I could use the Arduino with the DS18B20 sensor, um, and that would work. But underneath the heating pad, we've got foam, so more of the heat will go into the batteries than into the surrounding environment and I'm just getting them all put in just now and uh, this should be a real good use for this element it's not like it's getting uh, rassled about inside a jacket so I'm just taking a cell from each half and I'm just sort of uh, mixing them up and when I come to make my Arduino base balancing system that should work quite a bit better because I'll be able to balance them all to within 0 0.001 of a volt uh, and it'll be pretty accurate so I'm just going to get these all put back together again uh, that should be quite fine I'm not sure what that green stuff on the bottom there is I don't think there's anything to worry about here is the final setup. So I've just set it um, basically so it will just heat the batteries to uh, 10, well I've actually set it to 8 degrees so I'll have a separate 12 volt source just to run the module and the relay output is just there so that will be connected. Um, not sure whether to power it off the battery itself or just the mains electricity. Um, probably the battery itself, I'll get some sort of uh, low voltage thing sorted out so it doesn't just charge the battery too much and the sensor is just it's just in the top there, it's just been sort of uh, poked in there so that's the temperature of the battery just now uh, which is pretty good uh, I probably won't use very much electricity at all, just keeping them heated at 8 degrees celsius uh, in winter but uh, I don't think they're ever going to get very cold again as it's now springtime pretty much. So now just as an experiment I've just got them um, warming up just uh, on the heater on the 36 volt supply. I'm going to see if I can warm them up to um, say close to 20 degrees celsius. Um, probably in the height of summer they probably won't even get to 20 degrees celsius. Um, I know my lead acid batteries rarely ever got to 20 degrees, uh, they're usually quite a bit below. Uh, so I'll just leave that for a little while, just as a sort of fun test. So it's currently quarter past seven and I just only switched them on a few minutes ago so uh, I'll leave that for an hour and see what the temperature goes up to in an hour and I'll be close by supervising it. The heater has been on for an hour and 15 minutes. So it's heated it up now to 16.3 so it seems to work no problem and that should um, work really well when the temperatures outside are going down below zero it should keep the batteries nice and warm so uh, I'm satisfied that's going to work really well. One last thing I would note though is that the bottom does feel slightly warm. Uh, kind of wasn't expecting that, I thought the batteries would absorb all the heat really fast but uh, it's still slightly warm under there uh, 
I've changed the position of the sensor so it's just like it's still in between the batteries but it's sort of at halfway up uh, in the middle and that's the temperature so this heater is working really well.